Hi, and welcome to my uh, Dino Royale movie review. So, um, this is my continuation of reviewing all the game bombery leading up to uh, No Time to Die. So, uh, if you've been following me um, on my channel, uh, you know I'm a big game mom fan and and there for a while, I've been uh, reviewing Game Bomber early enough to No Time to Die. And and after I review a chunk coming Game Bomber, then I come back and uh, rank um, a chunk coming movie from work to back. Then go to Lady B. Then write more. Then Timothy Dalton. After, and then after I did uh, uh, Pierre Bronson, I ranked him, him, them. Um, after I go see, after I go see, um, No Time to Die, I will come back and do a movie review of No Time to Die, and then I will rank all five of the um, Daniel Craig, Dane Bomberie from what to best, which one I think is the worst. And also, which one I think is my least favorite to my most favorite. And also, which one I think is his most, is his best game bomber. Okay? And also, I will try to rank all game bombers. Okay? So, that's, that's the list that, uh, that I'm writing down. I'm working on I'm a piece of paper uh, that I'm working on. And I'll try to uh, do a video on a couple of days later, after No Time of That come out, we do a big grand, grand video of ranking all the game bombers from what's the best. Okay? Um, so, um, and also I will do another video of ranking uh, the game bomb actors from my least favorite to my uh, most personal favorite uh, uh, game bomb actor. Okay? That'll be another video I will do after No Time to Die. Okay, so there are a couple, couple of the videos that I will be doing after No Time to Die comes out. Okay, so uh, Christina Royale. Um, so uh, it was directed by Martin Campbell and Martin Campbell, and he's the guy that did GoldenEye. So. Uh, he did two uh, Dane Bomberie, uh, GoldenEye, and Katina Royale. Um, starring Daniel Craig, Evan Green, uh, Madden McLean, uh, Jeffrey Wright, Judy Dent. Um, release date um, November 17th, 2006. Running time 144 minutes. Um, budget 150 million. Box office 615.5 million. Um, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 94 percent. The audience on Rotten Tomatoes will give it an 89%. Um, so, um, um, and this, this is one of Jane Bomberry that uh, I did not see in the year. Uh, the very first game bombery that I saw in the field, and I still have a lot of nostalgia for it. And, uh, and the first game bombery that I saw in the field when I was a kid with, uh, um, Die Another Day. Okay? And when I was a little kid, I saw Die Another Day, and I used to watch it a million times. Along with uh, Attack of the Clown. Okay, those are the two uh, uh, two of the movies that I used to watch a million times when I was a little kid. 
but dying uh, uh, dying of the dad was a pretty game bummer I have a thought fear. For some reason for some reason I didn't see um uh, Casino Royale or Quantum of Solid in fear. Um the first um uh, Daniel Craig game bummer I saw in fear was um uh Skyfall. Okay. Now, um, over the years, um, I learned that, uh, this is what, this what I learned about the Game Bomb franchise, um, that Dying of the Day is, um, is, um, is the word day bombery or one word and it it didn't like the top three uh word day bombery all the time and um uh a lot of people have Katina Royale or Goldfinger or uh Goldeneye in the top five or top three favorite day bombery. Okay? And 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 over the years, I keep I keep hearing Goldfinger, or I keep hearing Goldeneye, or I keep hearing Christina Royale over and over. And um um I like the movie, the old movie a lot. But let me tell you, the other Jane Bond movies I like, I like. Okay. Um now. Uh, um, we're gonna talk about the other game my movie later. Want to do my ranking, but right now we're talking about Katina Royale. Uh, um, do I like it? Yeah, I like it. Um, uh, but be honest, I prefer. Uh, the old game bombery. Um, do I enjoy this movie? Yes. Uh, be honest, even the bad game bombery, I can watch and don't get bored. Okay, uh, that's why the game bomb franchise is my favorite movie franchise of all time. I can watch Beautiful Kill, Diamond Up Forever, Man with the Gonna Die. Die another day and be highly entertained and enjoy. Don't get bored. Would add, even though I'm a I'm a fan of the MPU, uh, there are like two or three uh, MPU movies. I watch them and I'm bored. Captain Marvel, Black Widow, or uh, uh, a few examples. Okay. Uh, now, um. Christina Well, um, I can't, I can't uh, talk, talk about this movie without going into some depth. Like, did you know that the movie could have started who Jackman had Jane Bond instead of Daniel Craig? Yeah, you might not know that. Uh, they asked, uh, they, they asked, um, who Jackman. Instead of uh, Daniel Craig to play Game Bond. And if Who Jackman would have said yes, then Dick Murray would have starred Who Jackman and Christina Royale at Game Bond instead of, instead of Daniel Craig. I got to fold that out and talk about that instead of, you know, talking about the other thing that people are going to talk about the plot and stuff like that. Can I imagine? Only the real Die Hard fans will know that. Like, like the Die Hard Game Bond fan will know that one time they had claimed for to be Game Bond, or Lee Nixon, or Adam West, played Game Bond. Um, and the reason why Who Jackman turned it down, star in Casino Royale, because he, he, um, were filming uh, X-Men 2 at the time. 
And I think he didn't want uh, to be too French at the at one time. Okay? So, uh, I think who got me were down a good, were play a good Jane Bond. Um, uh, and, um, but do you know that y'all might have heard this? That when when Daniel when when Daniel Craig was cast at Jay Bond, he got backlash and people didn't like it. Like they didn't like him. They didn't like uh, them for casting a blonde Jane Bond actor. Like people were bad mouthing the guy from Twilight. Uh, for being the new uh, Batman, okay. Um, so, uh, so, uh, um, took me, to be honest, it took me a while to get used to Daniel Cray. Um, so, um, this is a long movie. Um, there for a while in the movie, it had a lot of action, like like at, at the construction site, the airport, the airport fight thing, or two good fight scenes in the movie, in my opinion, or the or the two best fight scenes in the movie. And then it got some good like romance, that part. Um. Uh. So half of the movie kind of like action, the other part of the movie kind of feel like a romance movie. Um, so they did like, so this movie feel like a, um, the movie feel like a um, reboot, and it does it is a reboot, uh, a reboot of the Game Bond timeline. So from Doctor No. All the way up to uh, die another day. Uh, they're in a the same timeline. Okay. Uh, because because you got Q, Money Penny, so on and so forth. But when you watch this movie, uh, there's no Q in there. Uh, no Money Penny. You got M. And this movie. This movie tells you how Game Bomb became, uh, became 007, got hit like in the kill, and, uh, uh, Christina Royale was the first Game Bond, was the first Ian Fleming, Fleming, Game Bomber. Okay? Um, um, the guy, they gotta play Le Chi. Uh, be honest, I like him more in uh, Dr. Strange. He was a good villain in Dr. Strange. So, in my personal opinion, I like him more in Dr. Strange. So, and Dr. Strange was another movie that, similar to this, the first couple times that I watched Dr. Strange, I didn't really care for it, I thought it was okay. Similar to this movie, the first couple of times that I saw uh, Continue Well, I didn't really get the hype for it, the love for it, the, pe the other people got for it. I'm sorry. Then over the years, I watched it again. I liked it. Same thing with Dr. Strange. Um, uh, the first couple of times I watched Dr. Strange, I thought it was just an okay uh, uh, MCU movie. Okay, superhero movie. Okay? And, um, and then every time I watch Doctor Strange, I like it more. Every time I watch uh, Christina Royale, I like it more. Okay, so so it won't no movie in my uh, for me. The every time I watch it, I like it more. But the first couple times I watch it, uh, uh, I didn't really care for it. And then, but every time I watch it more, uh, I, I enjoy it more. I I like the action. I like the romance. I like the depth of. Uh, that's the land. Okay. 
I like the, I like the thing where uh, would you mind? I got a little itch. How about that? And uh, that's one of the, that's one of the more violent thing in game on uh, um, history. Uh, it it could be in it it remind me of like a one of the violent thing and liking to kill. Um. Um. So. Um. So. Um. But I still like it. But be honest, not as much as maybe another Daniel Craig movie. Now I'm about to talk about in my later video. But I still like it. Um. So what's the movie about? Um, he falling in love with uh, Vesper Lynn, and Vesper Lynn betrays her him, and and then he find out that she didn't really betray him. Um, and then Mr. White. So basically, all the Daniel Craig movies are like connected, like in their own universe. Um, so, you can't watch one Daniel Craig movie, Dane Bond movie, without w watching another one. You have to, like, watch them in order, in my opinion. Whereas, uh, you can watch, uh, um, uh, The Man Wanted to Go on a Gun, and, and you don't have to watch any other Dane Bond movie. Or you can watch, uh, Dr. No. You know how to watch anything else, or you can watch the li the Living Daylight, and be and don't have to watch uh, any other game bummer. or you don't you don't have to watch uh, Golden Eye. I mean, uh, you don't have you don't have to watch Golden Eye to watch Life Is Kill. Okay, whereas uh, Katina Royale. And, and all of the Daniel Craig game bomb movies, you have to watch them because, in my opinion, you'll be lost because they're all connected. And they're all tell story, and uh, they're like they're. They might be like they might be like the MCU, the the, the tell story, and connected because like like uh, um. Some of the characters come back in the next one, then another one, and so on and so forth. And Katina Well and like a reboot. So uh from Doctor No through um what's the last one? No, Die Another Day. Um uh there's a thing there's a thing in the universe where when you get to Katina Well up to uh Spectre uh the Daniel Craig game by Mario doing their own thing. Like a reboot, uh doing their own thing with Q, uh Money Penny, uh Feel It Lighter, all that. They're doing their own thing. Okay? Um uh, some people might say uh Daniel Craig game by Mario or, or like a reboot or a prequel. Where you gonna call it? Um, okay, but but they're like they're like different in my opinion to uh, Doctor No all the way up to Dying the Day. And I would say and I can, I'll say it again Do, uh, from Doctor No all the way up to Dying the Day or like in the same universe. Okay, and but we can sit here and debate whether or not uh, Dane Bond is a code name. Or a same person, and I, I can I can do another video about that. Okay, um, uh, so, uh, um, like I said, I know a lot of people have this as their favorite game bomb movie. Some a lot of people have Golden Eye as their favorite game bomb movie or Goldfinger. Um, I like this I like this movie a lot. But I'm one of those Game Bond fans that like like 
some of the old ones a lot more. You know, a lot of the old uh, Roger Moore, Sean Connery. Okay. Um. But uh, I would say it's still one. Of, it's still one of the best ones. But in my opinion, I don't think I don't think it's um, uh, Daniel Craig bad game bomber. I think it, it would it, it would be his second or third best one. Okay. Um. So with that being said. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Christina Royale. Um, I'm gonna give it. Um, you know what? Um, I give it an eight part. Okay. Um. Okay. I really, I really, I really like the. Act. I give it an A plus because I really like the action scene. The action scene got me involved in the movie. Okay. And if if you uh, like the chi, then they gotta play the chi. Then I would recommend watching Doctor Strange. Okay. So uh, that's my review, and um, look forward to my review of Quantum of Solace. Then Skyfall. Then. Um, and then I'll go see um, when No Time to Die comes out. Uh, then I'll review that. And then uh, I'll do a couple of the videos after No Time to Die comes out. I look forward to all that. Thank y'all. Uh, thank you.